What's up guys? Today I'm walking away making 1200 bucks profit. End of the day, nicely. Uh, still not the $2,000 I was looking for to make and I could have made it today, but to be honest with you, to make today, I made a lot of mistakes. I chased a couple of stocks. I, you know, kind of overdid it when I got cocky at one point on the day and I'll, I'll show you exactly when that occurred. And I gave away a lot. To put it into perspective, I started the day red. I got myself to my goal. I, I was about 1100 bucks. Then I went back down to about $300 on the day and came back up ending the day $1,200. So, you know, there was a lot of whipsaw in my p and And, you know, as I reflect, there were a lot of mistakes that I made. And I'm going to go over those mistakes so that hopefully you can learn from it and kind of go from there. So I'm going to go over the stocks now. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notifications button, and let's jump in to the day trades that I took today. The best way I can I can demonstrate to you visually on how my day looked is kind of like the spy. You know, very choppy, right? Up, down, up, down, huge yank, which happened to me, and then a huge recovery, which happened to me as well. So, <laughs> man, today was crazy. But I'm just glad that I'm ending the day in the green, above my minimum goal, which is good. Um, but man, it's been, it's been a lot of work. Today, it's just been really choppy. And, and even this entire week, I feel, um, I was, I've been trading with smaller size, but I've been just really focused on just taking the quick momentum scalp trades, and which has worked out in my favor because um, a lot of stocks that I've been trading, you know, they haven't had the, the, the follow through, right, that I was looking for. And, uh, you know, scalping the quick profits has been a good decision before you know getting a pullback and going right on the trade so let me start off with the S&P 500 this wasn't my first trade of the day but just to go over so Jeremy Spiegel uh, he's a, a professor at, a, at the Warden Business School he went on CNBC at around 12 o'clock and started talking about how the Federal Reserve pretty, pretty much made a mistake that's when you see this huge market sell-off I did take advantage of this market sell-off I bought some um, S&P puts here I bought spy puts on that bear flag and the market did yank unfortunately I didn't get the entire move because I was in scalp mode so I did take the quick move took my profits around this zone right here uh, which still generated a good return uh, when you get your hands on 10 to 20 you know contracts that expire next week so I did scalp the spy and that was a nice trade right there I liked that momentum and you had someone on CNBC literally talking down the market so it was a nice momentum move, which is what I look for. The recovery, that could have definitely been a play, especially right here on this little bull flag, once it recovered the ADMA, I did not play it. But now that I'm looking at the chart, that is something that I could have done with a relatively small risk. So let me show you CVAC. So CVAC, you guys may have seen it on, on, your, on your gap list. Um, it was I think the largest gap down in the market this morning. Um, they pretty much failed to demonstrate uh, strong efficacy with their COVID-19 vaccine. The stock closed yesterday at 94 bucks and it gapped down all the way to $50. So in pre-market, I my game plan was this. I wanted to short CVAC at $50. When the market opened, I even put a stop market order at $50 because I knew that if it failed 50, it could come down. I got triggered, I got filled at 50 bucks, but then here's the problem. I had my stop order at 51.80, but then when it yanked and I was pretty much in the money at a, when it was around like the 48 handle, I placed my stops at break even. And on this candlestick right here, I got stopped out break even and then it yanked even more. I was extremely frustrated with it because, you know, at the time, I thought it was the responsible thing to do. I thought it was responsible. Okay, I'm pretty much two points in the money on this short. Let me go ahead and put stops at break even. I thought it was a good idea. It literally stopped me out and then sold off again. So it's as if the market makers knew, hey, let's get that guy that put a stop order in the system, you know, take those shares and whoop, just kind of 
yank the stock in the move that I wanted. So really, really disappointing trade here for me. Um, and then, you know, another disappointing stock. This is where I made, I think, my biggest mistake today because I did give back a lot of money with with this run here. So run had a nice pop here. Let me actually put this on the three minute time frame. Run sold off initially, reversed, and then Taj, we were in the live training room, and Taj called to go long right here on this zone when it reclaimed the 8 of May and the 20 and it was about to break out of the 50. I was in uh, another trade. Uh, let me see, I was in CVAC and Tesla at that time. And by the time I switched over to run, I saw the chart and I chased it. I chased it really bad. I'm not going to lie. I chased it like up here, 5120. So I was green and with five and I did it with 500 shares. Considering that I chased it, I didn't want to go heavy on size. So I went in just 500 shares, got filled. I was green for about three minutes and then the stock yanked and I placed stops at 5030 which would be about a $1 risk or $500 risk for me. It didn't work out. And when I got stopped out, I was just like, man, that was really stupid. Like I've been trading for, you know, for quite some time and chasing stocks is something that I don't do. For some reason, I had a little bit of FOMO on this stock today. Maybe because yesterday it was just such a big mover. I just thought, man, if this stock leaves me, it's gonna make another move today and I don't want it to leave me. That's why I got in it, I chased it, and I got, you know, I got smacked in the face with it. So, no big deal. I did end up playing it on the breakout here um, in this zone, ended up scalping it when it broke that bull flag. N did not recover the 500 bucks that I lost initially, but did scalp a little bit of money there. And so that was my run trade, which I really do consider being probably my biggest mistake. My second biggest mistake, this one may be actually a contender to the the run. At least I did walk away with profits on this one. I, uh, obviously the banks were extremely weak today because interest rates are, are nose diving and the banks were diving as well. I, I had to wait for an entry point. It just immediately, just you could see the first candlestick sold off, sold off, sold off. Then what did we get? A nice bear flag formation. I like that bear flag formation. I got in short JPM with a thousand shares right right in this zone, right? Right when I was about to crack low day. Specifically, <clears throat> I got filled. Let me see, where is my JPM? Uh, short 154.92, right? I was short 154.92 with a thousand shares. Considering that I was already red on the day and I got break even on CVAC. I just wanted to take the quick money that that you know JPM gave me when it did that yank. So I ended up taking my profits at uh, at around this zone right here where I marked. So I only scalped it for about twenty cents or two hundred dollars of profit, and the stock got obliterated. Literally, biggest mistake because and obviously this is not going to happen every time. But had I instead of just focused on that scalp mode and maybe just gave the stock the, the room that it needed to really work itself out. I could have placed my stops, you know, at 155 or once it yanked, I could have placed my stops at break even. I would have actually probably never gotten stopped out. And here's that first yank right there. That would have been a $1,000 gain had I still held that position. It consolidated a little bit, created another bull flag and then yanked even more. So I'm not saying that I would have gotten the entire move, but I am saying that I at least could have made a thousand dollars off of JPM. So I, I kind of messed this one up. I kind of messed was messed this one up because I know this could have been a thousand dollar game for me, but yet I only walked away making about 200 bucks. So not, I'm not happy about this one. I really need to kind of hone in on my skills here uh, when it comes to shorting, you know, a stock like this and, and knowing what the news and, and knowing and understanding what's happening on a macro level to all of the banks because I mean pull up Bank of America same chart Wells Fargo same chart 
city group same chart you know or just pull up the xlf same chart so knowing that this was happening to literally every bank i should have had more conviction on the trade to stay in it and to milk more of it so i made a mistake moving on amc it's actually literally in play right now um amc okay so amc has been really good to us today i didn't capture the entire move but i have been scalping it throughout the day i by the time um i got in it was kind of in this zone right here on this bull flag got that bull flag breakout i actually just before uh we started recording i got in on that volume pop right here and sold it at 63 dollars right before this yank so there were a couple times that i played amc i think i played amc a third time as well because i'm seeing one two three four oh wow i actually played amc five times today so there you have it but those are the two that i that i do recall uh, let me look for let me look for the exact moments when i played it okay amc at 10 54 uh yep right here on this bull flag like i said at 10 54 i played the bull flag breakout got that one when was the last one well, after that one i played amc at 12 11 Ah, I remember the market was selling off. I tried shorting AMC right here on this bear flag, but I got stopped out. Extremely small loss. The last, then I played AMC at, that was the 1211 play. Then I played AMC again at 107. Ah, right here. Okay, I remember this one. Right, the bounce off the eight of May. I scalped that one. I scalped that one uh at at 107 with 10 contracts it was a pretty nice trade i got filled at 1055 sold it for 1085 so that was a 300 dollars gain right there on amc so that wasn't too bad nice little scalp and then i played amc again at 202 right here yep played it long here and then scalped it again on that bull flag sold it at 63 so you can see i've been scalping amc a bunch of times out of the five trades, only one of them was red, an extremely small loss. I think I only lost like 50 bucks on that trade. So, um, you know, all these scalps, they add up, right? Um, so that was my AMC play. And really, you may ask yourself, okay, how do I identify those opportunities? I look for bull flag setups. That's really what I look for. So I can highlight several bull flag setups right here. That's a bull flag. That's a bull flag. That's a very good bull flag and um this this is this was actually a nice basing action here that you could have played off of and just rode it off that eight of may so as you can see i look i really look for bull flag setups with momentum um and especially with bounces off the eight of may the eight of may is the short-term trend that i really like to play with um it has proven to be a good strategy for me and it's something that i okay i can't delete that little circle and it's a and it's a moving average that you know i rely on along with the 20 to help me identify very key opportunities to make quick money so that, that i just highlighted exactly where i identified the opportunities and i showed you exactly where i took the trades tesla this was a, another mistake i made on tesla so remember at the beginning of the video i told you how um i was red went up to 1100 bucks and then went back down to about 700 i mean excuse me to about 300 uh, that was because of tesla i tried shorting tesla here with 610 puts the trade went against me i got out of it for a loss and then i did get back in on tesla on that bull flag and made that money back and tesla did hit a high of about 621 and it's kind of consolidating here so Tesla uh, was a nice trade today. Um, did take that loss here, but I've been trading it pretty much all day today. The first time I traded Tesla was on this bull flag. I went in with shares and I ended up taking profits at about a little slightly above 608. And then I've been playing it again, you know, throughout the day as we saw, you know, the bull flag setups with it. So as you can see, my methodology is pretty much the same and I don't make it complicated. I just look for bull flag setups, I look for momentum, and I look for volume. And of course, you know, stocks like AMC and Tesla tend to have those three every single day. So that's why, 
you know, I do mention these stocks every day and, and we do trade them every day. So that's pretty much it. That was the, those were the trades I took. Very tough, uh, not very tough, but very just grinding type of day, you know, ending, uh, starting red, going green, pulling back, and then coming back to ending the day, $1,233 of profit. So if you've got any questions, feel free to write them below. You can comment below. You can join our free Discord. The link is in our bio or in our description. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.